Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about project landing page of the Odin project. So basically in this project we're going to use all the knowledge that we have about HTML and CSS that we learned so far, okay? And basically we have to do a project that it looks like similar to this. They kind of gave us some guidance and we have to clone what we're seeing here, this image, into a website that we're going to do, okay? We know basically here by looking that we need to do some things and they also gave us some things to use in the CSS. So they gave us the color and font styles. Okay, and we can look a lot with this. Before we start, we need to set up our GitHub. So here we're going to click in new. You can call Odin dash landing page, for example. You can put in here a brief description if you want, and you can add a readme file. Okay. Then we click here in create repository. And now we need to add in our, uh, in our local host. So now we have to add in our computer. So now we're going to open up our VS code and we're going to do git clone and we're going to paste what we just copied. Okay, so we're going to paste in here to clone our project. So now we can open up in the VS code and we start building. So I will do this right now. So basically now we're going to start working here with the things that we need. Okay, so I already opened up here in my VS code and I already created here the index.html and the styles.html. Okay, if we take a look in here, let's see the Sublime Merge that we mentioned some videos be, uh, before. Basically, the Sublime Merge will help us understand what we have in our project and the things that we have on GitHub, okay? So, for example, I created index.html and style.css and here it's saying that it's untracked file, so it didn't add or commit or even push to our GitHub, so that's why here say, they are saying and track it files, okay? And if we want, we can add them, but so far I will leave, leave this empty because I want to add some things, okay? So let's start working. For the index, remember that we need to add the doc type, okay? I will open up here W3Schools. We need to do this structure, doc type HTML, okay? So every time we're creating a file, we need this doc type HTML. We need the HTML file, the HTML tag, and the HTML has the head and the body. And to remember, the head is where we put all the links that we're gonna use, so the things that are not visual, and in the body we put all the structure, the things that are visual in our website. So here in the head, we're gonna add the title, okay? And the title will create here, this is our website right now. The title will create the name of the tab. So here I'm gonna call, for example, landing page, okay? And I wanna create a link to our CSS file. So here I'm gonna say link real equals to style sheet because this is a, something we're gonna use this style. And what is the, the file that has the source for this style sheet? Is this styles.css, styles.css, okay? So that's it. Then after our head, we need our body tag, okay? And so far I'm gonna do an H1 just to check if it's working. So if I say here, hi, and I refresh, now we have high, okay? So this is pretty much what we have. If we want, we can add those things in our GitHub. So if we want, for example, now we have these uh, changes, we can click here, stage all, okay? And we can add in our code. So here we can say commit to files, we can display a message creating index.html and styles.css. And once we commit these two files, now it is appearing here in our history that we are basically in the Sublime Code, the Sublime Merge, we can see the changes that we're doing in our GitHub, okay? And doing the Git command. So basically here we did this change, okay? Now let's start working with what we actually need to do. So basically in here, we're going to build this, okay? And we're going to do step by step. So first we're going to build this part here that is dark, then this part, then this part in gray, and finally these two parts, okay? So for the first part, I'm going to separate in a div, okay? This will be our first session, all right? And I'm going to give a class equals to first set. 
function, for example, okay? And remember that a class, it's a selector that we can use for CSS. And this selector, this class selector can be used for multiple components in our code. And th this is the big difference with ID. The ID we can only use for one unique thing. Okay, so what do we have in this div? So here we have this header logo and here we have this header link one, header link two and header link three. Okay, so what we can do, we can split this div into two. Okay, so here I'm gonna create a div called nav, for example, nav bar, all right? And in this nav bar, we're gonna have the left part and the right part. So I'm gonna split here in this part of the header logo and the other one in here. So here I'm gonna say class equals to nav bar left, for example. And in here we're gonna have a written header logo, okay? And we're gonna have the, nav, the other div that will be class equals to nav bar right, okay? And in here in this nav bar right, we're gonna have the header link one, header link two, and header link three. And in here, I'm just gonna say hi, for example, because I wanted to show you how it looks like. So if I refresh, this is what we have so far. Okay, the header logo and the hi. Now, how can we create these three things in here? We can use an unordered list without the bullet points. So here we can use this unordered list and we can style without the bullet points. So this will be exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy, do you see here, the unordered list without the bullet points. And we're gonna use in here, okay? So if I'm, what I'm gonna put in here in the list item, we're gonna say header link one, header link one, and then we're gonna say header link two and header link three. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste in here, header link two and here header link three, okay? And let's see how it looks like so far. So if I refresh it here, it's saying header link one, header link two and header link three. So now we need to work with putting everything in a row and in the top of our code. So how can we do this? We're gonna start working with styles.css. One thing that we know is that the background color of this part will be uh, this IF2937. So we're gonna create here in the first session, we're gonna use a selector first section. It will have background color of hash 1F2937. Okay, and if we refresh, let's take a look. Now it has this color, okay? We also know that the text, this website is awesome. So this text here that we didn't create yet will be this. Hero secondary text and header, header link text here. It will be this and the header text logo will be this one. So now we need to split this into two. So our nav bar left, it's going to be this header 24 pixels, blah, blah, blah. So here I'm gonna give an H1, a paragraph, for example. Okay, I'm gonna give you a paragraph in this header logo. And I'm gonna give here an ID equals to header logo. Okay, and what I'm gonna give in this ID header logo. So here, since it's an ID, we need a hash header logo. I'm gonna use this property here. The font size will be 24 pixels and the, f the color will be hash F9FAF8. Okay, so this will be pretty much what we have in here. And if I refresh, now it changed here a little. Okay, one thing that we're gonna use, we're gonna remove this margin. So like we saw in the previous lecture, if we use a star, it will give everything, everything we have. And here we can set the margin equals to zero and the padding equals to zero as well. Okay, and this will remove the margin and the padding. Okay, so now it's, it seems a little bit similar. So one thing that is important to see is that basically in here they're telling us that the font family that they are using is Roboto. So we need to import and use in our CSS. Okay, so how can we do this? Here you can use Google Fonts and you're gonna find here the, the font, okay? And I'm gonna click in here regular 400, for example. If you click here in this option of import and you copy this and put it in the top of your CSS, we are importing the font family in our code. Okay, and how can we use this? We're going to use in our body. So I'm gonna create here a body and I'm gonna say font family Roboto. So this way I'm kind of saying that I wanna use Roboto in any part. 
Okay, here they're kind of telling us how to do font family or Roboto, blah, blah, blah. So if you want, you can copy and paste. Google Fonts also give you this, this suggestion. Okay, so if we refresh, let's see, it changed everything to Roboto. All right, now let's continue working here now with the header link text. So basically all of these list items that we're using here, they are they have this structure. So basically here I'm gonna create a class equals to header link, for example. And I'm gonna put this class for all of these LIs. So here this class header link in all of these LIs. Okay? And if I do here control S, now let's create here the header link and I'm gonna put here the font size that it's 18 pixels okay and the color that is now hash e5 e7 eb okay and let's see how it looks like so if I refresh now in here now it's looking like this okay now we need to make a way of putting everything here in the top okay so how can we do this now we're gonna use we're gonna work with flexbox like we saw previously in the lesson so now we need to put these header links in a row okay so what we're gonna do we're going here to style and we're gonna use the unordered list here to display flex and give a flex direction okay but as you're gonna see right now this is creating this for us okay so here we have this all right now we need to set the header logo in 50% of the width and the header links in the other 50%. Okay, so how can we do this? We're going to grab here the nav bar left and we're gonna set the width. Okay, so here we're gonna say dot nav bar left and dot nav bar nav bar right. And here we're gonna set the display flex in the display flex. We're gonna say width. 50% so like we can see in here now we're splitting this into 50% okay if we expand it's a little bit better and we want to put them in the middle sinks in the horizontal line and in the vertical line so we're gonna use justify content for the horizontal line okay like you can see in here now they are in the middle and now let's set in the vertical alignment so here align items will set everything in the center and this is the flex blocks Flexbox class that we saw, okay? So basically everything here has a space for them. All right, so this is pretty much what we have to do so far, okay? Now let's work with the second part here, creating this div and splitting into the H1, the paragraph and the image, okay? So to do this, let's go back to index and I'm gonna create here inside the the first session I'm gonna create, but after the nav bar, I'm gonna create here a div class equals to content. Okay, you can give any name as you want, but I prefer giving this name. And I'm gonna split here into content left and content right. Okay, div class content right. So what we're gonna have in the left, we're gonna have this h1 saying this website is awesome. So here, it will be a h1 saying this website is awesome and we know that we have we're gonna have this structure here so it's important to notice here we're gonna say this website is awesome okay and we already we can already work here a little bit with the styling okay because if we refresh in here it's just gonna appear this message but we can work with the h1 here for example and we can set the properties that they tell us so here, for example, font size, 48 pixels, uh, font weight, it's important that it's saying extra bold. Okay, let me see. If I search for bold, we can use bolder here. And the color will be this one, this F9FAF8. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have. And if I refresh in here, now it's appearing exactly what we saw. All right, the other thing that we need here, we have a paragraph, okay? So we have here a paragraph and we have this message. This website has some subtext that goes under the main title. It's a smaller font and color is lower contrast, okay? 
And what is the style for this part? If we take a look here, the style is the same as we got for the header link. So we can use the header link class to add in here. So in here, we can use this class header link and we can add in the paragraph, okay? So if we refresh in here, now we're gonna have this message. This is a website, blah, 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 okay? And finally, we need to add a button. So if we search for button here in W3 Schools, we can see that we have a button tag, okay? And we just need to say type button and we can display a message. So after the paragraph, I'm gonna use here a button, type equals to button. And I wanna display a message here it's saying sign up, if I'm not mistaken, sign up, okay? And I'm gonna give here a class that we can work. Actually, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna give here a class equals to sign up first session, okay? And that's it. If we refresh in here, we have this button. Now we can work with the image. So remember that here we need an image, okay? So what, how can we add images? Here we can use this image tag, okay? So we can add the image tag here in the right part. And if we refresh, I'm not sure if it will appear the cat, the image of the cat, the girl. But we can see here that we have an alt message. So it's saying girl in a jacket. It, we can barely see, right? But it's saying girl in a jacket. So this means that the alt message here, every time, like we saw in the previous project, Every time we cannot see the source of the image, it will appear a descriptive message that we can leave, okay? So here I'm getting a image from Google that it's for free and we can use it, okay? And I'm gonna paste in here and I'm gonna say the message programming photo, for example, okay? I will remove the height and I will leave this width, but later we can work a little bit with this, okay? So if I refresh right now in here, we can see the image and the sign up. Now we need to work a little bit to put everything in the right and the left and fix everything. So let's start to do this. So now to style this, to put in this both sides, we're gonna do exactly what we did for the header, okay? So we're gonna work with the content left and content right. So basically in here we're gonna do the same, like content left dot content right. And we're gonna use the display flex, okay? And the justify content center and the align item center. It probably will give us a bug, but we can fix. And why is giving a bug? Because it's putting everything in a column. But we want to split our content in a row, so we need to use our content selector. And we're gonna use the display flex and the flex direction to be a row. Okay, and this will fix our problems. So like we can see here, we have this issue. Here in the content flex, we want them to be in a row. So here we're gonna, in a column, sorry. So here flex direction column, okay. And if we refresh, now it's look, it looks similar to this, okay? Now let's expand a little bit this part. So basically, what do we need? We want to fix here the width of this paragraph because like we can see in here, we have everything. It's not in the center. The text is kind of the in the beginning, okay? And we have to fix here with some margin, all right? In the bottom and in the top. So let's focus on this. But before we continue, I want to show you in here how the Sublime Merge works, okay? So basically here the Sublime Merge is telling us again that we did some changes, okay? We create everything that is in green is the things that we added. The things that are in red is, are the things that we removed, okay? And we can stage all of them in our code, okay? And we can commit. So here is, we can give a message like saying working with the first section, okay? And we're gonna commit these two files. So this way it's good because we can keep track of the changes we're doing, okay? And basically this is all in our, so we can see here the differences, okay? And this is all saved in our local repo, okay? It's not on GitHub so far but we can work this on the future. Now, let's work a little bit in things that we are missing. So this is pretty much what we have so far. Now let's set everything in the, splitting here into 50% and 50%. Okay, so here I'm gonna add the width of 50%. 
Okay, and like we can see in here, let's see the big difference. If I refresh, now it's 50%. We can work with adding here some margin. Okay, so let's add some margin in the content. I'm gonna give here a margin 50 pixels, for example. Okay, and I want to add a margin here in the image. So I'm gonna use the image tag here, IMG, and I'm gonna give here a margin of 50 pixels, for example okay and you can play around so basically this is how it is then we can work here with the text so basically we have this website is and then we have the word awesome so we can break here into two parts so we can do in here this website is and we can create a br here to break the line awesome okay let's take a look if we do this in here it's awesome and the text we can do the same so here the text we have three lines we can break in d adding lower so let's change in here we're gonna break in this word d and we're gonna break in lower as well let me take a look we're gonna break here in lower okay so let's take a look in here if i refresh now it looks a little bit more similar to what we have then we need to align here things in this uh in this part right this everything in the flex is start so how how can we work we can work here in the styles i created here the content left and content right but i will remove the content left and i'm gonna work a little bit because i think this is mixing with what we should do so basically here i'm gonna use the display flex again the justify content uh I will remove the justify content right now and the flex direction i will put here let me put in a different line the flex direction here will be column and the width will be 50 percent okay now let's take a look at what we have so if i refresh it will appear everything in the in here okay now we can try to put things more in the middle so if we go back in here i'm gonna put for example 30 30 pixels let's see if i refresh now this is not so good so we need to put here 50% as well and we can work only with the text so we can create a margin for example margin left margin left of 50 pixels I don't know let's try it out if I refresh in here it's a little bit better if we take a look it should be in the same line as the center logo so I'm gonna try to work with the justify content so justify content center in here and the align item center as well align item center as well let's take a look okay we have this in here so something is mixing with our this website is awesome let me see if i change here the width of our image if i put here 400 pixels for example and if i refresh so now it looks a little bit better i'm gonna try to fix here the paragraph putting a bit a little bit to the left so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna add some margin in the paragraph so i'm gonna give here a class i'm gonna give another here it's gonna to be p first and i'm gonna give a class for this p first so p first it will be equal to margin left 40 pixels let's see what changes here if i refresh nothing changes so let me think about it and i will be right back so what can we do to fix this here basically i removed this uh the header link okay because it was effective uh, making some changes that we didn't want so i created here a class p first okay and in here i use the same font size and color but i changed here the margin left to 90 percent okay and if we take a look now it's aligned with the text okay now the next thing we have to do is working with the bottom so let's see what we have here for the bottom so the color of the bottom here is this one okay so let's create this basically we're gonna use in here we know that we gave a class sign up for session okay so i'm gonna put this in here dot and we're gonna say color let's see if this changed something and the color is 3882 3882 f6 so let's see if I refresh in here. It didn't change anything. So I believe it's background color. Oh, we need the hash, sorry. So let's see. So this changed the color, but the color here, it's the color that is inside, it should be white. So this will be the background color, background 
color. Now let's see if I refresh in here. Now we have this. The color will be white. The color is the color of the text. Okay, it will be white. So if we refresh in here, now it's white. And we need to make here in a bigger width and with rounded corners. So we're gonna do width, for example, 200 pixels. And we can take a look how different it, it is. It's too much, so it can be like 100 pixels, okay. And we can change the height, all right? So the height here, it can be like 50 pixels as well. And if we refresh here, the height is a little bit bigger. Okay, I think it's too much. We can change, instead of 50, we can put 25. Okay, and we can refresh or 40. You can play around, okay? Now these numbers, you can play around. We can work with the border, okay? So the border can be exactly what we have in here. So the border, we can say border, one pixel, and we can set this color for the border in here, okay? And let's see. So if we change, now we have this border and we can say that we want this rounded. So if we go back in here, we can say border radius, we can say like one pixel. And let's see what is the border radius in here. So basically the border radius is not working. Let's search. So I was playing around in here and basically we need to increase the number of the border radius, okay? And if we take a look now, it is here, it's rounded, okay? But now we need to fix this to be aligned in the same way, okay? So I was also playing around and if I remove here the align items, let's see what happens. If I remove the align items, we put everything in here, okay? And we can change the margin instead of having the margin in here we can set the margin in the whole div, okay? And everything will be exactly like we are expecting. So we can play their margin in the whole content left. So here I'm gonna say margin left, for example, and I'm gonna put 70 pixels. Let's try it out. So if I refresh, now it's a little bit in here. We can put more, for example, 200 pixels. Let's see how much it changed. And here it keeps this way. Okay, basically it's changing as well the image, but there's no problem. We can fix this working with our uh, part in here. Okay, this will be the margin bottom. All right, and it won't affect here the part of our uh, image. I will try to increase the width of this image here, saying 500 width, okay. And now things are looking a little bit more similar to what we were expecting, okay? I just think 200 is too much, so I'm going to change here to 150, okay? And if I fix now, it's looking a little bit better, okay? So if we take a look, things are looking pretty similar. But before we continue, let's work with the Sublime Merge. So what we have to do, here in the Sublime Merge, we're seeing all the changes we did, okay? And we can set this two committed changes. We did these changes, we removed from here. So basically in here we can see all the changes. We can click stage all and we can commit. So here we can say finish the first section. And basically here we're putting in our local repo. It's not gonna change in the GitHub, but we can keep track of the things we did, okay? So now let's work with the second part of our project. So now for the second part, we want this div in white. We need this heading here and these four boxes with some text below, okay? So how are we gonna do this? Let's start structuring here in our VS Code. So now I'm gonna create, so after the div first session in here, okay, we're gonna create the second div. So I'm gonna, I'm, I just remove, it's not expanded anymore. And I'm gonna call here second session, okay? And what we're gonna have inside the second session, we see here that we have a heading, so it will be a H2, for example, saying some random information, some ran, random information. Okay, then we have four boxes here. So I'm gonna create one div and inside of this div, we're gonna have four main divs, okay? And inside of this four main divs, we're gonna have one div for the blue, the blue box and one div for this part in here. So let's do it step by step. This main div will be the class, I'm gonna give a class row of blue divs, okay? Then we're gonna have another class here that will be box blue and message, for example, okay? 
the other div we're gonna have inside here will be the blocks in blue and after this div we're gonna have a paragraph okay and i'm gonna give a class here p second all right and inside this p second they're expecting us to have this is some subtext under the illustration of image so this is a subtext under a illustration or a image let's see this is exactly what they're asking us to have okay and i'm gonna have four of these divs here that i just made this div box blue message okay so we're gonna have four of these and let's take a look at what we have so far so if i refresh in here we're gonna have this div some random information with this this is a subtext blah 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 so let's start working with step by step so the first thing we need is working with this h2 so we know that the h2 here it's 36 pixels extra bold and this uh, color in here so we're gonna work with this here i'm gonna create an h2 and the font size will be 36 pixels the font weight will be bolder and the color will be this one that we're seeing here 1f 2937 hash 1f 2937 okay and if we refresh in here we're gonna see exactly this okay and this should be in the center so i'm gonna say text align center all right let's see here and here is in the center now we need to work with the boxes okay so all of this should be in a row not in a column so we're gonna use this div row of blue divs and we're gonna use the display flex and the flex align row so here i'm gonna paste and we're gonna use the display flex and the flex direction row okay so let's see and this is exactly what we have right now now we need to make these blue divs okay and how are we gonna make these blue divs we're gonna use border radius we're gonna do something like this we're gonna use border where we can give a color we can give a padding and a border radius okay so we're gonna try it out with this i'm gonna use this example and then we can play around a little bit with what we have in our hands so now we're gonna use this div here that it's box blue okay so here it will be box blue and we're gonna paste this styling here that we copy from w3 schools and let's see what we have so far so basically it's creating these boxes okay but we don't want these boxes this way what do we want we want the boxes in blue so we're gonna use the color that we use it for our buttons let's grab here this color okay and we don't want padding and border radius 15 the padding here let's try with 100 and let's see what we have so if we change here for 100 we're making larger divs so i think if we use we can play around here i'm gonna use 50 for example okay so i'm gonna use here 50 and the border radius i will let this way that it is right now so border radius i will change to 15 for example and let's see okay the padding we can change here padding i'm gonna use 25 let's see what looks better okay i'm gonna change here again for 100 and the border radius i'm gonna change for 50. let's see what happens if i do this so now it's more we need to change the size of these boxes so let's try it out so basically what we're gonna do instead of using padding here let's change to margin to width sorry and height 100 pixels okay and let's see the change if we do this so now it's a circle and why it's a circle because the border radius is too big so if i change here for five pixels it will be a rectangle okay we can make this a little bit larger right because it's more than this so i'm gonna change here to 200 and 200 as well and if i refresh now it looks a little bit better okay now we can fix cutting this message into three lines so we're cutting the subtext and in the illustration so let's do this in here in the index we're cutting in the subtext br and in illustration as well and we're gonna do this for all of this let me replace and if we take a look in here now it looks a little bit better 
like we were expecting. So now we need to play around with creating a space between the boxes and the text, right? Because now they, we need to put them in the middle. So we should work right now with this uh, row of blue divs. So here in the row of blue divs, we can work with justify content space between. So let's see how space between works if we try it out. If I put here space between, now they have a space between them and we can give a margin for this row, right? So I'm gonna set a margin here of or a max width of 75%, for example. So let's see what happens. And in here, they put everything more in the middle. We can work right now in putting everything that we have in here in the middle, working with the this div in here, the second session, I believe. Let's try with align items. What happens if we do align item center? Let's take a look, nothing changes. So let's work with this div second session to put everything in the middle. So if I do this in here and I put display flex, flex direction column and justify content center, let's see how it looks like. And if I refresh, Nothing changed, right? Actually, what I'm gonna do in here, I'm gonna put 100% and I'm gonna create, give a margin of 100 pixels, for example. So let's see. So now it looks a little bit better of what we were expecting. It looks a little bit more similar. Okay, now the text can be centered. So the text of the in here can be centered. We can create a, this P second here. P second we can set here as text align equals to center and we need to use these things in here. So we can say that the size of this is this 18 pixels, okay? Because we can play around with this. We can try it out. So font size, for example, 18 pixels. And let's see how it looks like if I play in here. So everything is in the middle, okay? And now we have our projects looking pretty similar. We can make this border a little bit bigger, like three pixels. I think it will be pretty much what do we need, okay? And that's pretty much what we need for this session here, all right? We can give up a margin in here, okay? To make it this way, but I think it's pretty, it feels pretty similar to what we have to do, okay? Now let's do the third part, this div here in gray. So before we move on, I forgot here, I will click in the unstaged files and I will stage all and I would put here finish, start and finish, start and finish second section. So this way we can keep track of all the everything we did. Okay, we just committed. Now we can work with our project again. So now we're gonna build this div in here, this great div with this message. And here we have the colors for it, the color for the background color and the quote text. Okay, so now we just need to apply in our code. So let's do this part right now. So in here, in our index, I'm gonna shrink this part, the second section. Now I'm gonna create the div class equals to third section, okay? And what do we have in this third session? We just have a message, a paragraph, like an H3, uh, and the, we'll give this quotation here. So basically, I'm gonna have an H3, for example, and I'm gonna put this message, and we have a paragraph here. So in this paragraph, I'm gonna give a class P, third, okay? And what we have to do, I'm gonna put here the messages that we're seeing here, and I will be right back. So I just added this message in here, okay? And I put the BR every time we wanna go to the next line. I will save and let's see how it looks like so far. So if I refresh, it will appear in here, in the bottom, okay? So now we need to work with the styling of this. So basically we need this div, okay, that we will be in gray. So we're gonna use this color here. So let's start working with the style. So basically here I created a session called third session. So I'm gonna give a div here, dot third section. And the background color will be 
this one that we're seeing right now e5 e7 eb e5 e7 eb we need a hash and if we go back in here we can take a look it looks like this all right we need some margin and we need to put everything in the middle so i'm gonna give a margin of 300 pixels for example and if i refresh we can see this margin in here but this is not enough this shouldn't be the margin we should give actually a, a height okay let's see the height right now if we change this is good we can increase the height for 500 for example okay that's good and we can change we can put everything in the middle okay so how can we put everything in the middle remember display flex and justify content center and align items center okay so let's refresh and we have everything in here but one thing is important we need to set what is the flex direction so here it's a column because here this message is in here and we don't want it to so now it's in here besides that we need to give the quote text so we need to say that it's 36 pixel light italic so like we can see we're doing this in a h3 so here h3 font size it's 36 pixels the font weight it's light italic so i'm gonna put here italic actually font let's see what properties do we have font style we can put this italic and the font weight we can put this light okay and the color will be this if2937 so color will be hash 1f3927 I think this is the one one f2937 okay so if we refresh in here now it would look like what we have in our project okay and we need to work with tar god of thunder so this tar god of thunder it can be this we can work with we can give any color as we want actually so here the p third so p third we can give here a uh, text align sent a font size of 20 uh, 18 pixels okay and if we play around in here we increase a little bit probably we can increase a little bit more because like we can see or no and we can make this bold so if we want we can change here saying strong for example if we want to okay so we can put this in here and it will make strong let's see if i refresh and this should be in the right right so here we can say text alignment and for example let's see if this changes and here it's not changing and why is that because we need to fix we can create a div for this paragraph okay and inside this div we can create here the size that we want so let's take a look here inside this div i'm gonna give a an id for equals to p div for example and if i use here the hash p div and i want to do here display flex justify content flex and let's see now it's not changing so let's see why it's not changing and i will be fixing so i figured it out what can we do in here we can remove this justify content center okay and if you take a look here we won't be in the center anymore actually not this one this align item center we won't be in the center anymore okay only in the center in this case and we can work here adding the text align center and this will center for us okay the god uh thor god of thunder let me see if i put here align item center and if i play around in here okay but if i remove the justify content let's take a look and i fix in here okay it didn't work so let me do ctrl z that's something that i added and if i refresh here we have god of thunder and we can play around in here for example if i remove this let's see and if i play okay it didn't work we can add here a margin right for example 100 pixels and it will fix this for us or we can give a little bit more for example 200 pixels and it will be or more 300 pixels okay and this will be exactly how it is supposed to be 
So, so far our website is looking like this. Now we need to do the last part, this and the header. But before we do this, let's add all of these changes in our uh, Sublime Merge. So we stage, here I'm gonna say start and finish third section and we're gonna keep track of all the changes that we're doing okay so now let's work with the last part so how can we do this now we're gonna create a new div in here and inside of this div we're gonna have another div that will be background color blue and we're gonna split into this part and this part of the bottom okay so let's work here with the index i'm gonna shrink this part and i'm gonna create here let me see and i'm gonna create here the fourth div so here div class fourth last div we can call it this way because the other div will be a footer and inside of this we're gonna have a div and i'm gonna class blue i'm gonna give a class blue container for example and this blue container we're gonna have the left and the part the right part so here div class left for example and in the left what we're gonna have in the left we're gonna have this message, call to action, it's time, and then another paragraph. So here I'm gonna give an H4, and it's gonna say call to action, it's time, I think this is it. And we're gonna have a paragraph, then I'm gonna give a P, I'm gonna give a class P, last P. <laughs> uh, and here, what do we have? We have the sign up for our product, sign up for our product by clicking that button, that button right over there, okay? And in the div class right, it will be the button. So here I'm gonna give a button, type equals to button, and the class will be equals to btn last div, okay? And I'm gonna say sign up, sign, okay? Let's take a look how it looks like so far. So if I refresh in here, we have this part, okay? But don't worry, we're gonna fix. Like we saw, CSS is really powerful. So let's just start creating a height in here for this part. So the last div will give a height, we're gonna give a height of 300 pixels. So last div, I'm gonna give a height of 300 pixels, for example. And if I refresh, now we have more space in here. and the now let's start fixing here the blue container okay so first i'm gonna display flex and i'm gonna justify content center because i want to put the next div in in the middle okay and now we're gonna work with the blue div and what do we have in the blue div in the blue div we're gonna have a div with that color here so basically we need this so background color we're gonna copy from the button we got here in the top ctrl c the color will be the this blue color it's the same for all the cases and now if i refresh we have here okay it's not uh it's not blue div except blue container right that's why it didn't change blue container and if we refresh now we have this blue container and we can give a width here so i'm gonna set the width as 75 percent for example okay so it will be 75 percent of the page and we can expand the height as well so we can expand the height for i don't know 30 percent of what we can use so let's see how it looks like okay it expand a little bit we can change for 40 for example now it's more about what you prefer okay now let's work with the left and the right div so here in the left uh, here first I want to use a display flex and I want the flex direction to be a row okay so this way if we take a look the button will be in one side and the text will be in the other one and here in the left I want the width to be 80% okay so we're gonna have 80% of this and now we can start working with the H I think it's H4 that we made okay H4 and what will be the size of this h4 here we want to have we can work actually here with whatever we want because they didn't give us the color the font size so i'm gonna put like 20, 24 pixels font size 24 pixels color will be white white okay and if we go back it will be this way i want to use a text alignment of center let's see how it looks like 
now it's in the center but I don't think it is in the center right I will remove this from the center and I'm gonna give here a margin margin left of uh -huh, 50 pixels let's see what changes okay and we can increase the height the margin I'll put here a hundred and okay we can align this in the middle of the page so I'm gonna put this uh, align items center so we can put everything in the middle in here okay and the flex direction will be column in this case we want the text to be in a column okay so it's not align items I'm gonna use here justify content instead okay and that's it now let's change this paragraph here to white so I'm gonna use here P last I think it's P last the, the selector that I gave last P actually last P here I'm gonna give here a color white okay and if I refresh great so it looks pretty similar to what we have we can use something light so actually we can use the same property that we have for the P on the top so I'm gonna grab instead of using this color I'm gonna use the P second I believe or we can just grab the font size in here and we can insert in okay so if we refresh it will be this way now let's work with the button so basically the button we want to put in the middle so the right now we're gonna say display flex justify content center and align items center okay so let's take a look here's in the center um, actually not in the center I will put a little bit more in the beginning so flex start I think this will be better didn't change much it's okay and now the button we can kind of reuse what we have in here in the button that we used before and we just change the border radius because now the border radius so what is the name of the button we gave btn last div so here i'm gonna give a dot btn last div and we're gonna use the same thing but if we take a look this the border radius is in white it's not blue anymore so here the border radius will be white actually here we're gonna add in not the border radius the border so we're gonna change in here and let's see now it looks like this i'm gonna increase the border for three pixels for example let's see it didn't change so what is going on in here if i change all of this to fff let's see it's not creating the border like we were expecting right so let me see if i put here white so i will stop and we'll be right back fixing this and then we just need to do the footer so basically to make this button work we just needed to add here the word solid in border okay and then here we change to white now basically we have all the project we just need to work right now with the footer okay so now this is the last part we have to do and then we're done okay so how can we do this before i will add all the changes that we did in here in our local repo okay so i will do start and finish last div okay and i will commit and now we're gonna work with building the footer so the footer if we go to index i'm gonna shrink this part and i'm gonna do here div class equals true footer okay and what do we have in the footer let's take a look here so we have just a text saying copyright the odin project 2021 so we're just gonna say this copyright the odin project 2021 actually i'm recording in 2022 so i'm gonna oh, I say copyright so it's copyright sorry copyright 2022 okay uh, so if we refresh in here it will create this and now we just need to use the style that we did for the nav bar so basically in here for the class footer i'm gonna use the same background color so i'm gonna say here display flex justify content center because we want to put everything in the center okay here it's everything in the center now we need to change the color for the same color as we're doing for the nav bar so basically in here i'm gonna grab this background color and then i'm gonna grab the color that we're using for the text so here i'm gonna change this background color that it's kind of almost black and here in the color we're gonna set white Okay, and let's add and if we refresh 
we have in here now the footer. We can change the height of this footer because I think it's too, too small. So here we can make like a height of 100 pixels, for example. Let's see how it looks like. And it looks a little bit better. It's too much, we can change for 75 pixels. And we can change, and we can put align items center as well to put in the center. Okay, so if we refresh, now it's everything in the center. So this is basically it that we need to do for our project, okay? It looks pretty similar to what we have in here. So now how can we stop, how can we submit our project? So if you go here to Sublime Merge, you're going to take here the uncommitted stages we're gonna click in here and we're gonna commit so finish footer okay commits files to files and now we need to push everything to our main branch so how can we do this so basically here expand these locations and do you see this number seven is saying that we have this and we have we can push this seven commits that we did to our main branch so if i click in here and i could put here push origin it will push so we don't have anything anymore in our they are the same okay and if now if we take a look in here in our github and we refresh now we have everything we did finish footer okay so all the changes that we did we have here right now so basically we finished the project okay just a setup remember that to finish you have to go here to pages in branch you're gonna select main and you're gonna save and you have to wait 10 minutes up to one hour to display this to the world so once this is displayed i will show you and we finish the project but basically this is it that we need to do for our code okay so like we can see here it's already up in our github account okay so if you enjoyed this content please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any questions send here in the comment or become one of our students by clicking the link in the description you can learn more about all the benefits you're gonna have okay and i hope you in the next video. Bye bye. If you would like to have full support from programming expert via Telegram group and group coaching, check the description below.